only in the sense that it's a democracy. <laughs> Awkward. How are you? <laughs> Welcome new faces, old faces, and vice versa. Um, so I had a weird experience I wanted to share with you. Johnny, Johnny! Hey, Johnny. So Johnny and I, a couple weeks ago, were setting up, we do an event. You guys, have, I've talked about it before on Tuesdays and Thursdays. This is just for the new guy. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, we do a, a workout that you get like circus strong and learn weird circus stuff. Thank you, I know how good I look. But you can come out and see us. And Johnny and I set that one up a couple Tuesdays ago. And we set it up and it was this amazing thing. We put, we have an aerial silk thing and we, we've got ropes and we've got juggling clubs and juggling pins and all this stuff. We put it all out and we got done early. And it was about 15 minutes before. And the room, it was weird because it's at a mall and it was in between the movies and it was at the dinner hour and the room was completely empty. You could hear crickets. And it sunk in how weird that was. Nice cricket. Okay. It's awkward, isn't it? I know you jump. I'm gonna, Dan. I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna talk about that. Okay. So we did this thing. It was very awkward. It was. Very... <laughs> Dan, I got an idea. Shut off the wireless and hand me a microphone. No one will notice. It's not like we're doing a show. It'll be, it'll be fine. Just just a mic. I know, we look really just together and with it and fantastic. I feel confident again now that I have a microphone that they can't really murder me with immediately. But in the meantime, while they sort out the tech, uh, we, we were out there, we were with Johnny, and we set this thing up as very weird, because quiet. And I kind of, it kind of got in my head. And I'm, I'm kind of a superstitious guy, because I'm vaudeville. I don't say the name of the Scottish play. I knock on wood. And, you know, I'm one of those people that if you tell me something once, like, okay, I heard you, you tell me twice ago, maybe that's a pattern the third time, I'm like, okay, universe, I get it. So, the second time happened. Um, second time happened was last week. Who was here for Speakeasy Stage? <laughs> Every year we do a Speakeasy theme night. We wear a little pinstripe, we get in a little trouble. I play a gangster character, and I played it over there, about where TJ's standing, actually. Hi, TJ. And, um... I realized how far away I felt. I was in the room, but it was emotionally disconnected and it made me feel lonely. I'm in a room with my best, these are my best friends. You may not know that, but these are my best friends. Love you too. Thank you. Oh, And you brought cookies, which means a lot to me. Thank you. So I'm standing over there and I feel really disconnected. You guys, I, I, I channeled that in and just stayed in this like gangster character the whole night. And by the end of the night, I just wanted to hug everyone and reconnect. And then it's, so that was the second time it sunk in. And then the third time, it used to be, you guys, some of you guys know this, that Dan, that, that's Dan with the red hair over there, swing the light over, show Dan everybody. Dan. Dan, that's what it feels like. That's what it feels like. Over here. Dan used to be back there and he had to spend a lot of time looking at my butt through the mirrors. Sorry, Dan. And he told me, we were having a little pre-production, post-production meeting, you know, where we sit down and talk about our, our, our meeting. <laughs> this is a symbol for alcohol consumption. Not everybody understands that. I just want to, are we good? Are you sure? We, we were drunk. That's key to the story. <laughs> because Dan had feelings, and that only happens when we were having a meeting. <laughs> So in, in between saying, <laughs> he mentioned that he felt far away because he's behind this curtain. And we're all like, man, the show doesn't run unless you're back there twiddling knobs. I realize the wireless may not have been the shining example I wanted, but, but everything else runs because these two guys run their butts off and we, we miss them because they used to be at an old venue. They used to be, well, right there. And so I said, Okay, universe, I hear you. And we brought them back out front. So first of all, I wanted to say that. 
where they belong. Now I gotta dress up to try to keep up with them. And then the second thing we did is I realized that what the message was, what the great, hey, stupid, you're, you're missing this, was emotional connection. We walk through our lives and everyone's looking at something else. Dan's looking at my butt, you're, these people over here. I'm looking at the inside of a pair of mirror shades with a bottle of scotch over here. Everyone's somewhere else. And then we've got this place, this daft, beautiful, screwed up place, where right now, stop and think about this. Right now, everyone in this room is thinking about one thing. Russ, seriously, get to the fucking point. <laughs> but we're also focused on one idea. We're here together. And it blew my mind that we had that room and I felt really lucky. And I said, okay, what I have missed for the last couple of weeks is you guys were on the back wall. We missed you. Dan missed you. TJ missed you. I missed you. So we brought you closer to us and we're gonna tweak the show a little bit more and we're gonna see if we can get that cool connection back. We do it every week, it gets better every week, and we call it the open stage. Thank you for coming. Woo!